Do your mic check. <laughs> ha! Mic check. That's pretty cool that you can see yourself in that. Like, dance. Still there. Still there. Like he thought he was gonna disappear. <laughs> huh. That is pretty cool. Yeah. The evolution of camera. Yeah, yeah. Now watch this. We got the band back together again. Yeah. I really feel like I'm standing on yeah, top yeah. of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Here we go. Uh, so today, we're doing Adam's been having some problems. Yeah, all right. So you guys have watched some of our videos. And if, if you haven't, you can go back and check them out. They're, you know, in the list. You can find them on our channel, Prince Benders, YouTube. They're uh, fairly entertaining. <clears throat> well, it'd be, I think so. But we've had some, some sound issues, we've had some camera issues, and it, it's been an evolution of what all we have learned and how far we have made it. And in, in my defense, I'm a garage guy, not a camera guy. Yeah, I mean, we actually had no idea what we did, what we were doing when we started. What are you talking about? You push the button, okay. and then you aim it. Right, and that's, that's <laughs> part of the evolution, is learning how to... We had some complaints with our videos on sound quality, and then we ran into some actual sound issues once we had decent sound quality. So we're here today to talk about what we've learned and kind of where we're going and maybe... And we have a surprise for you guys and Kagan at the end. We have a surprise for Kagan? Yes. Oh, nice. He does not know. All right. Yeah. Um, so first off, I want to talk about we are filming today with our oldest action camera so we could talk about the rest of them. The GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Yeah, the GoPro Hero 3 Plus. That was the first video that we filmed in motion. We had some other pictures that was done with cell phones and uh, the, I think the first couple was cell phone kind of and then we moved into the Hero 3. That was the first one we had. The grain truck bed removal. Yes. Which we filmed in the wide angle instead of the medium and so we, we was learning. Yeah, that was our very first video, and it wasn't great. The sound quality definitely wasn't we there. We had some video that just dis disappeared. Eh, yeah. That was more software issue. Yeah. So. But we decided that we wanted to move on from the GoPro Hero 3 Plus, and I wanted to keep it cheaper because we knew we were going to be in a garage setting and possible damage to a camera, shoving it down in engine bays or whatever. So I ended up getting this, which is the Akeso V50 Pro, and don't quote me on this, I could probably look it up and tell you, but I think this camera was like a hundred bucks. I need to probably look it up, but I whatever. Think the whole kit and everything you got was like $200. Yeah, I had like $200 in the camera, I think, once I bought a stand and some accessories. But the first time I bought, I didn't buy a mic because we still had no idea. We filmed several videos with the camera just like this. It had a different stand on it because I bought this stand a little later, but this is what it looked like. There was no external mic at all. So you would get the intro and us talking and it would be really quiet like this. And then all of a sudden our intro would come in like BAM! And hit you in the face with the music. And we had some people comment about that. My well, apologies. We, we do appreciate it, guys. Yeah. The only way we're going to learn is you tell us we're screwing up. Yeah. So the video came in loud and strong in the intro and then we figured that out after we went back and watched a couple and realized we needed a mic. Again, we had no idea, so we bought the Akeso V50 Pro mic, which is an external mic and it's just like a little lapel mic and we put it on this thing and that's what we filmed with for a while. Which now, we now have, if you follow our social media and stuff, you'll see a picture or video. We've got to set up on a booth. Yeah, right. it's ugly. Her, it's, rhino. It, it, it's, it's working. <laughs> it's on here. It's, yeah. it's right here, if you can see my So camera. that's what you guys are listening to right now. And the reason you're listening to that mic is because it works with the GoPro 3, and which is going to allow us to talk about our other mics. So Yeah. Huh, so it's up there. But that's what we did for a while. And the sound quality was still not very good. Uh, we couldn't re-record, you know, went ahead and used it, moved on. 
but we have evolved from the Acaso V50 Pro, which we still have and we will still plan to use, especially when we get into some action shots like we plan on doing some trail rides in a Jeep. We've got things coming where the action cameras are going to come into handy. But we moved on from this one because this was actually my camera and I stopped going to the garage for a while because, you know, like life happens and I was video editing and Ben was the garage monkey. So he moved on and he got his own. Yeah, I know. Okay, he's back here. Yeah. He's back here helping, but it wasn't his camera. It's Ben's camera. So I ran into a guy at work and we was talking. He's checked, you know, we're discussing the channel and he's got uh, this GoPro 5 that he don't use anymore. So he made me a good deal in it and all the accessories that came with it. And uh, as far as the one thing I definitely liked about the 5 is compared to the 3 was is it doesn't have the backpack screen. You don't have this addition in order to see. You can actually power it up. And I've probably got a... Uh, let's see here. Do you know how to work it? No, I don't. Mm. So anyways, so I got I can see the screen on the back, which you came with the Acaso as well. And the Hero, the biggest problem with it was was that it has you have to have the backpack and another extension on the case and everything and plus it, it draws extra power and the battery's not as good on the three the battery's a lot better on the five as far as how long it lasts and everything um, the video quality on the five was uh, really good i mean and like i said we're still going to use this camera but it's really really good uh, but the problem was our audio sucked and this did not have a mic hookup in the side of it that we could use the lapel mic for it just got a uh, micro HDMI and then a uh, USB-C. I'm like, okay, so I need a mic for it. Like, okay, so what am I going to do? So I bought a little cheap mic adapter off of, um, of Amazon, like a little $10 one that goes from USB-C to a regular microphone jack, and that didn't work. <laughs> what I found out was is that GoPro has this neat deal where you have to give them $50 for their mic adapter. Ain't that nice of and then, of course, with this in the case, there's no real good place to put it. So I'm like, okay, where do I put this bulky thing at? So I got this uh, uh, Yulanzi. Yulanzi? Yeah, that's what it says. And the, the cool thing is, is you put this in there and you fish your mic adapter through there, maybe. And it actually worked out pretty neat as far as a place to put it at. So it sl slips in there and kind of holds everything up tight. And you put that thing around where it's like that. And there you go, you can the back on, keep the camera from falling out. So that gave me a camera with the mount, with the mic adapter, and I went and bought this Movo the shotgun gun mic. Gun ball. Yeah, the dead cat and everything, which is a really decent mic, and it gave us some really quality sound in the beginning, except yeah. when it didn't. <laughs> I will say that the sound quality tremendously improved from the video editing standpoint. I could tell when we started using this microphone. And it was fantastic for a while. And then I found out about One Touch Play on this camera. I'm like, well, that's handy. You know, I don't have to leave the camera on. I can just hit it and play. And, well, the problem was with One Touch Play on the GoPro 5, and there's several videos to talk about this, is you'll have audio the first time you touch it. And the second time you touch it, you no longer have audio. We would have videos that didn't have audio. I'm like, okay, what happened? Yeah, so a little bit of, Ben would film all of this stuff at the garage when he was working or when he works, and then he would give me micro SD cards, and I would use those micro SD cards to do the video editing. And I may get one or two or three cards, depending on how big the video was or <clears throat> how it was working. And he would just hand them to me, and I would go into the video editing, and I would start, you know, get so far in, a few clips in, and then all of a sudden there was a clip with no sound. So I had to do some creative editing. There's some pieces missing or adding music or speeding it up. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm still new at editing. I mean, I've only been video editing for the past, we've only been doing this now for what, like eight months, right? 10 months maybe? Uh, it actually will be a year at the end of this month. A year at the end of this month? We didn't get into the video editing until we started, opened it. It was about a month about March. Yeah, about March. First so, couple of videos I've done off of, uh, uh, What's the software? Uh, Filmora. Filmora Go, yeah, off of my Go. cell phone. So like our first three or four videos were free editing software. I done all the editing and everything off of my cell phone and uploaded it to YouTube. I actually still use Filmora some on the PC, the PC version. And I have a power director that I use on my tablet depending on where I'm at or if I need to get it done quick from on the go. Uh, I use multiple softwares, but that's a whole separate conversation. Anyway, he would hand me 
sound clips that just didn't exist and I had to do some creative editing. So that's where we are with that microphone. And well, that's kind of. There's another one. There's another one? There's another issue. Oh. After I figured out how I was losing audio, we got that fixed. We didn't lose audio anymore. Oh, that's I quit, right. I quit using One Touch Play. But we kept having this staticky audio come in and out. Like one time you're filming, it's great. The next moment, there's a lot of scratching. You've, you've seen the... the uh, Crossing State Lines video and a few others, there's some scratchy audio in there. I'm like, and part of it is I say, you know, they say you got to check your connections real well. And I just, for me at the garage, I'm busy working on stuff. I get to the point that I'm tired of having to go back through and make sure the audio is good. I spend so much time doing that, I don't get enough done. Yeah, it becomes a hassle. So this leads me to where we're going after this. I plan on using a shotgun mic, it's awesome. I get tired of the adapter and everything necessary to run it through the GoPro 5. And I'm not saying we won't use this setup anymore. On certain occasions we will use a setup identical to this. Yep. But we're moving up in the world, at least I think so. I've done some research, best I can figure. Keep in mind I'm not a camera guy. You camera guys that are watching this are going to be like, well, you'll know. Comment yeah. below if you don't think it's a good one. But we have a surprise for Kate. And we'll be right back. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I thought you guys, I, you said surprise for me. We're talking about cameras. I thought you were gonna get like one of the old. Remember the uh, like '94? Yeah, where I had you with VHS inside yeah, of it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, they're gonna make me the editor now. I'm gonna have to get a ton of tape and some special scissors. And just <laughs> splice it all together. Yeah, this is <laughs> like old, these old old school film reels. Yeah, yeah. So you're not completely wrong on the camcorder bit. Ah. Uh, I went and bought a Panasonic X900M. This right here, when it first came out, was over $1,000. But something that's going to make it nice is right now we're looking at a GoPro, and I can see the red lights flashing and telling me it's recording. I can't see if I'm in frame. We kind of know because we set up ahead of time, but this right here, I can do that. So I can look at the camera and know that I'm in frame. Where that came in. Huh. Yeah. Ain't that nice? So, and it, it takes a memory card. Uh, the battery life on it will be much better. Like this battery right now tells me I've got an hour and 19 minutes left on it right now. You have spare batteries with it? I have one spare battery and I'm going to order a bigger battery for it that actually expands off the back of it. Um, it's got a quarter 20 mount and this will mount to our rig that we have. Uh, yeah, not yet. Aww. You can play with it in a second. So, another cool thing it has is, is we use a camera rig. Um, which right now the GoPro is mounted to, and uh, we'll post a picture up of that. Um, so this will mount to the rig, but if something happens we don't want to use a rig, it's actually got a hot shoe that goes down in it. Um, and what we'll do is, is get my mic off this here. Too many adapters, too many pieces. I'll take a picture of our rig right now, and I will, oops, let me back up and get it from this side. And I will put this as a thumbnail in the video so you guys can see it and then we'll take a picture of the new rig once it's put together and adam will put it up at the end of the video so if i want to do that with the shotgun mic like that right there it's got a hot shoe that goes on the camera so i can film really close like this but i actually i've played around with this and adam and kagan haven't seen it yet the camera rig we have is a small rig i actually bolted this to the camera rig and i actually like having the rig in my hand using the strap on this and my palm rests against the base of the rig and then it has the piece that comes up overhead that our light and our mic mounts to so i actually like the rig mounts this in my hand so that's actually pretty slick so whether or not this is going to do what we want it to do and uh what we can do is is actually we'll uh we'll take a break and we'll mount everything up and the last bit of this video we'll shoot with this yeah that sounds good so. now just keep in mind we have no idea how to use this thing yet and we hope that it's going in the right direction. Ben's done some research. I have faith in him. I've not looked into it at all. He, yeah, too easy. <laughs> yeah, whatever, um, whatever works. Um, but we're hoping that this helps us and helps you guys enjoy our videos more. So give us a few minutes and we'll see if we can end the video with this film and maybe you can tell the difference. We'll see. Yeah, going from our old. There you go. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Guys, look, we're looking at the subscribers right here. 
this on you know and over the last 24 48 hours our subscribers have jumped phenomenally more than we've expected and i personally want to say thank you for that because we've been struggling with how to get subscribers and for some reason we found this jump and i think it has to do with maybe a tiktok or an instagram real video i'm not proud that i downloaded tiktok on my phone hey it happens i was the cause of that so anyway i, I guess just proves that we're desperate desperate <laughs> yeah this is kind of a fun hobby for us we get to have fun um this is the new camera it's got the new microphone I can on it. I see myself. Yeah, we can. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard not to look at myself in the camera now. Well, anyway. We're vain there, are we? <laughs> Maybe. It's got the new microphone on it. This is the new camera. It's on the camera stand. Oh, watch this. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see, he's going to turn the light on. We'll turn the light on. So there's our light. So it actually brightens everything up. You can see everybody's face a little bit better. And that's on the lowest setting, too. Just a favor. Comment below. Let us know if you like the new setup compared to the old setup. Tell us it was a waste of money if you think it was that. Tell us this video was stupid. I don't care. But let us know something. What's your opinion? Do you and, like the new camera? And if there are certain videos that we have done that you do like, go ahead and comment that below too. Well, yeah. That's the type of videos that everybody wants to see. So but we just want to do this. That way you guys know, one, why some of our videos have sucked because of audio or whatnot. Yeah. And we want to let you know that we are trying to make improvements. We are listening to some of you guys who are, you know, giving constructive criticism. Absolutely. So, and if you were disappointed about the sound in the past, we are making improvements. Please bear with us. Um, they will get better as we go on. And we if you think to Kagan ought to start taking over editing, <laughs> we disagree with you. <laughs> also, if you're ever wondering why, like, any video clip was me into it just doesn't have sound it's because these two just deem that yeah, Adam may have purposely speak. taken the sound out just to cover up Ooh, what he was I've gotten better <laughs> I've gotten better I am I was not a uh, he's a work in progress yeah. yes, <laughs> yes so hey guys thanks for watching uh, hit that subscribe button down there it really will help us out because uh, we're trying to get monetized. I mean, obviously every YouTuber is. We're not even gonna be bashful about it. That's what we're trying to do, so. Yeah, yeah, but if we get monetized, it's just gonna go back into our projects, yeah. so I mean. Yeah, it gives us more content, so. which is what we're after. We wanna be able to support our garage habits. That's it. So, thanks again. See you guys later. Yep. I just wanna be able to afford name brand WD-40. <laughs> Man. Hey guys, if I'm going to be the new video editor, uh, am I going to need special scissors for the uh, digital tape? Digital <laughs> tape.